Hey everyone, my name is Corey Campbell and I'm a platform specialist on the Android Enterprise business team. With the advanced security model and features available with Android Enterprise, device admin has long been considered a legacy management approach. So we recommend customers and partners adopt Android Enterprise as their management solution going forward. To support this transition and focus our resources towards Android's current management features, we'll be deprecating device admin for enterprise use starting in the Android 9 Pi release and remove these functions in the next version of Android. That means starting with Android 9 Pi, these device admin APIs will be marked as deprecated, but will continue to work for applications targeting 9. But they will no longer be available for applications targeting the next version of Android. So, we recommend that any customers using device admin should begin planning their migration strategy to Android Enterprise. So let's discuss some best practices when planning and performing your migration. First, we recommend separating your migration plan into four key areas, analysis, requirements mapping, proof of concept, and deployment. In the analysis phase, take a look at your current deployment. Document any policies you're currently using through device admin and create a device inventory, paying particular attention to what OS version each device is running and which devices would likely be updated to Android's 2019 release. Create documentation for your current use cases and any use cases that could not be previously handled by device admin. The goal in this analysis phase is to create a document that provides enough information to understand which features need to be implemented in Android Enterprise. You will document these Android Enterprise features in the next phase. In the requirements mapping phase, you should use your analysis documentation to identify your Android Enterprise feature requirements. Determine which management modes and provisioning methods would work best for your scenario. Create an app migration strategy and choose a minimum OS level to support based on which versions support the features you require. And create a device strategy for those devices that will not meet the minimum OS requirement. You can then use the documentation created in this phase to configure your environment for a proof of concept. With the Android Enterprise requirements documented, you are now ready to set up a test instance and start your proof of concept deployment. The goal of this phase is to set up the Android Enterprise instance, implement the features required for your use cases, verify that those features are working as intended, and begin your user setup documentation. And finally, it's time to start your deployment. In this phase, you'll need to select your rollout strategy and establish your use case deployment order. Consider migrating your IT team first and selecting Android champions from other teams and business units to include in this first deployment group. Finalize any changes to your user setup documentation with this first group so the content can be available during the remainder of your deployment. Major mobility transitions are typically a large and important undertaking, but we know that the needs of companies will be better served with the modern capabilities of Android Enterprise. To make this transition as smooth as possible, we recommend starting now to avoid any surprises. Work with your EMM vendor to develop a plan for your migration and create detailed user documentation to help users through the process of getting their devices enrolled and configured. For more detailed information on migration best practices, please visit our website. Thanks for watching.